Hey guys, what up? It's your boy Aaron coming to y'all with a fresh new video. In this video today, you guys, it's going to be a different style video. We're going to be going over the top 15 Navy traditional tattoos you can earn while in the Navy. It's going to be pretty sick. I'm super excited. Put a lot of effort into this video, so I'd appreciate it if you guys would smash that like button. I'm not going to really say a whole lot other than let's just get straight to it. All right, you guys, we're going to kick it off with number 15 on the list, which is the Compass Rose. The Compass Rose is a good luck charm that allows a sailor to find his way home. It's a very, very popular tattoo amongst sailors, and you're going to find that pretty much almost anywhere you go in the entire fleet. Coming in at number 14 is the Dragon Tattoo. Wearing a dragon basically symbolizes that a sailor has served in China or has even been to China. Now, it's going to be a very, very rare tattoo unless somebody just has that tattoo. But for somebody that's actually earned that tattoo, you're not going to see too many of those because we can't go to China now. Sitting on our number 13 spot is Rope on the Wrist. A knot of rope on a sailor's wrist identifies him as a deckhand. A deckhand is someone who maintains the whole decks, superstructure, mooring, and cargo handling. Deckhands are still common in ocean-going vessels, though they're far less likely to be maintaining wooden ships. Sitting tight in the number 12 spot is the Golden Dragon. When a sailor crossed the international date line, he earns the right to wear the Golden Dragon tattoo. The international date line is an imaginary line in the longitude that separates two calendar dates. When someone sails from east to west, they set their clocks back one hour for every 15 degrees of longitude they pass. When they pass the date line, they've gained a full 24 hours. Number 11 on the list is pretty interesting. Pig and Rooster. The foot tattoos of pig and roosters were worn by sailors in World War II in hopes it would keep the sailor from drowning. The Navy shipped these animals in crates all the time during this period, and when ships went down, the crates floated, and the animals inside would sometimes be the only survivors. Number 10 on the list is my personal favorite, King Neptune. King Neptune is viewed as a badge of honor amongst sailors. It is awarded to those who go from being a polywog and earn the title shellback at the crossing the line ceremony, also known as the shellback ceremony. Sitting tight in our number 9 spot, just like the compass rose, it's the nautical star. The nautical star is a symbol for sailors to always be able to find their way home. A nautical star is a five-pointed star with dark and light sides counterchanging to resemble a compass rose. Coming in at number 8, we have the palm tree. The palm tree actually has two meanings. If you were a sailor in the Royal Navy during World War II, you could wear the palm tree after sailing the Mediterranean. If you were in the United States Navy, it could be worn by sailors who were stationed and served in Hawaii. Holding on to the number 7 spot, hold and fast. These words are a charm spelled out on the four front facing fingers of each hand. Sailors hope it brings them good luck while gripping and rigging. Holding fast means a sailor isn't going to let the line go. No matter what time period, sailors were a superstitious bunch, and life on a sailing ship was tough, to say the least. Anything that gave them the edge and saving their own lives was worth doing. Stabbing its way to number six, dagger through a rose. A dagger through a rose means a sailor is loyal and is willing to fight anything, even something as sweet and beautiful as a rose. Sailing its way to the number five spot on the list is fully rigged ships. A tattoo of a fully rigged ship from the age of sails means a sailor has been around Cape Horn the rough, stormy waters around the southern tip of South America. A fully rigged ship is a ship with three or more masts, square sails, fully deployed. Firing its way to the number four spot on the list is crossed cannons. The crossed cannons means a veteran has seen military service as a sailor. This tattoo is also worn by gunner's mates in the United States Navy. Sinking its way through the depths to the number three spot is an anchor. A single anchor means a sailor crossed the Atlantic or has been a member of the Merchant Marine, a fleet of civilian ships that carries military cargo. In wartime, this fleet is mobilized to carry war material, including troops and supplies. During World War II, the Merchant Marine took a beating with high casualties entering the European War long before the United States itself. Since the United States was developing war supplies to Britain through Lend-Lease, Nazi U-boats targeted U.S. ships shipping bound 
for the UK. The Merchant Marine casualty rating was 3.9%, whereas the Marine Corps, which was the next highest level, was only 2.94. Flying into the number two spot on the list is a swallow. Sailors earn a new swallow tattoo for every 5,000 nautical miles traveled, which is just about 5,754 regular miles and roughly the distance between New York City and Tel Aviv. Their circumference of the Earth is 21,639 nautical miles, which means you can earn just about 4.16 swallows. Now, before we get to number one, I would like to just go over some honorable mentions. Our first honorable mention is going to be a shellback turtle. Sailors can wear the shellback turtle when they get initiated into King Neptune's court after crossing the equator. Basically, they have to go through the crossing the line ceremony. Our next honorable mention is going to be the hula girl. Hula girls signify the sailor has been to Hawaii. Ah, yes, here we are. Finally, the number one spot on our list goes to the Jolly Roger. Now, the Jolly Roger was a symbol originally used by pirates to broadcast symbols of death for anyone who stood in their way and kept them from getting anything that they wanted. Now, it is not common practice for sailors to normally get a Jolly Roger other than after they have been to Captain's Mast. Jolly Roger is a symbol that a sailor has gotten in trouble and been sent to Captain's Mast, whether... They received a good sentencing or a bad sentencing. Now, me personally, I hope I never, ever have to experience a disciplinary review board or go to Captain's Mast. I try to always have integrity and do the right thing. But if I was to go to Captain's Mast for whatever reason, I personally don't think I would ever get a Jolly Roger tattooed on my body because that is not something... I would want to broadcast. And there you guys have it. That's it for the top 15 traditional Navy tattoos you can earn while in the Navy. Let me know. I'm pretty interested to see what is your favorite tattoo that was on the list. Or let me know one that I missed. I'm pretty interested to hear your guys' take on this. Also, while you're leaving a comment, do me a favor. I'm going to be doing a giveaway here pretty soon. So what I need you guys to do is like the video, share the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment when you're done with all of that. And I'll be selecting a winner here pretty soon, and I'll get in touch with you, and we'll see what prize you get. It's gonna be a pretty good prize. I'm looking forward to it. I hope you guys are looking forward to it. So let's make this happen. It's got a lot of likes, it's got a lot of comments, it's got a lot of shares. Let's make it happen, you guys. It's gonna be great. Well, that's it for the video, guys. Hope you guys like the video. If you guys like the video, obviously leave a like. Leave a comment. I love hearing from you guys. I love talking to you guys. If you guys haven't already, please consider subscribing. It would mean the world. Go check out some of the other awesome and helpful content I put out there to help teach you guys all sorts of things. Primarily, I've been doing a lot of boot camp videos. They've been doing pretty well, so I'm going to keep pumping out some more boot camp videos, some more good advice. Like the last video I just did, that, that actually had like a lot of great feedback. So I'm going to try and do a few more of those. Maybe I'll do some more in-depth ones. I'll probably go on one of the ships here pretty soon. I'll show you guys what the racks look like, what you guys should bring to A school, what you guys should bring to boot camp. Maybe I'll show you guys how to properly make a bed so you guys are well ahead of that. So yeah, a lot of interesting things, a lot of cool things we're going to be doing here in the future. I'm pretty excited. I hope you guys are excited. But that's about that. If you guys like the shirt that I'm wearing, be sure to go check out my amazing sponsor. The link to that is in the description below. So make sure you guys go check that out by purchasing these shirts and whatever that's on there. Using my affiliate link, you're directly supporting the channel. So I would greatly appreciate that. Go check them out. They're also doing a big thing called buy a mask, give a mask. You guys go buy a face mask off that website, which they're, I believe, 25% off right now. Plus my additional 15% off. It's pretty crazy. Go get a face mask. They're going to donate face masks to first responders. So that's pretty cool. You're going to be able to help out first responders on the front lines dealing with the coronavirus. So that's an awesome way to give back to those who are putting themselves on the front lines. So yeah, links to all those in the description below. Speaking of the description below, also contact me. My Snapchat and my Instagram are also in the description below. So don't be afraid to hit me up, ask me whatever questions you guys got. I'm always here to answer whatever questions you guys got and talk to y'all. I love talking to y'all. <laughs> I love talking to y'all. I do it pretty much all the time. The filtered, unfiltered, uncut right here. Raw, raw right here. <laughs> but yeah, I love talking to you guys. I talk to you guys all the time. I can't get enough. So hit me up. I love talking to you guys. 
that's pretty much all I got. I hope you all enjoyed the video. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Hey guys, what up? It's your boy A. Aaron coming to you with a fresh new vlog. Well, I got.